Hey guys, what is this animal? This large animal has legs and hands similar to a human and is shown eating a smaller animal. But look at its face, it looks like a wolf. We can see its ears, eyes, and its open mouth also. Look at the back, I think this is a tail. Is this a werewolf? We generally think that the werewolf concept originated from Europe, but why do we see such a carving in a thousand-year-old Indian temple? In another Hindu temple, I showed you a carving that looks like a goblin. Did such creatures exist in the past? And did ancient sculptors document them in the form of carvings? Is this a werewolf? There are many unexplained ancient carvings in this temple called Rani Kival. Here we can see an elephant-like figure. I say an elephant-like figure because it looks fit and muscular. Elephants normally have more fat on their bodies, but this one looks skinny. I mean, there are elephants carved in the same temple and they are shown with more fat on them. These are the normal elephants. But this one seems like a deliberately starved elephant, and they made it lose weight. But there is one more detail that is shocking. It is trying to eat a human being. We can see that this guy is upside down. His head is touching the ground while his legs are already inside the elephant's mouth. But elephants don't eat meat, right? They only eat plants, right? No, recently some elephants were found eating the eggs of birds. This elephant was eating the chicks and eggs of birds. An elephant was even found catching fish and eating them. Do elephants eat meat? if they don't get enough plants. But an elephant eating a human alive, I don't know if such an event has ever been recorded in human history. The guy riding the elephant is trying to control it by pulling the ropes around it. Is this an elephant or is it some other extinct species? Is it really eating a man? Here, we can see this horse. It is a war horse because it is destroying everyone below it. And you can see this majestic warrior sitting on top of it. But do you see anything strange in this carving? Look at his shoes. Yes, these are knee-high, top-quality boots, just like today's Wellington boot or gum boots, right? If you look at Wikipedia, these type of boots were said to be created by Europeans just about 200 years ago. But this is a 1,000-year-old Indian carving showing the same boots. Why are these details never mentioned in Wikipedia and mainstream history books? And if you watch cowboy movies, they always wear these long-necked boots because it is easy to put your feet into the stirrups while riding a horse. And this is exactly what we see in this ancient carving. He's wearing these boots for a comfortable ride. Look at this one. What is that strange looking device in her hand? It looks like a complex mechanical device and it looks unreal, right? It must be some fictional tool created in the minds of ancient sculptors, right? What about these devices? Do you know what these are? Yes, these are real tools used by surgeons to extract bullets from human bodies. Look at the similarity between the two devices. Of course, mainstream historians will say Indians did not use guns a thousand years ago. And I have posted another video showing a lot of evidence that ancient Indians used guns and bombs more than 2,000 years ago. 
So is this a bullet extraction tool? But look at this object in the other hand. What is this object? Why is she holding it like that? It looks like a bowl, but there is a tiny little arrow inside. Is that a fish or an arrow? It looks like an arrow with a pointed end facing outside and the blunt feathers facing her. And why would that be put inside an oval container? Is that a compass, like a magnetic compass, to tell directions? It must be some type of an ancient device. Here is the same device in this Madanika's hand. And again, it looks very similar to what we saw before, but not identical. In this one, the arrow is pointing to her and the blunt end is pointing outside. This is the opposite of what we saw there. This woman is not holding a tool. Instead, she's holding a skull or a totem or something like that. If you notice carefully, she's shown with one shoe. This leg has a shoe and this one is barefoot. I don't know why they carved it like this. Normally, historians will say the sculptor made a mistake, but I don't think so. I think we are simply not understanding what is going on here. And we don't know what this device is, and we don't know its connection to the skull or the bullet extractor. And here, you can see a series of fantastic carvings. But you can see something crazy. Is that a backbone? Is she holding a vertebral column of a human? What else could this be? Was she a doctor or some expert studying the human anatomy? Today, if you go to a medical museum, you can see the vertebral column and the skeletal system displayed. But why would it be displayed in this ancient temple? Here, you can see this woman holding two round spherical objects. One is in her hand on the top, right? And there is another one. I think it is attached to one of her thighs. What kind of a device is this? Of course, you can say, Praveen, these are not devices. These are regular mundane things like lotus butts. A woman is holding lotus flower buds. But when we zoom in, look at this object. This is definitely not a lotus bud. It is not like a seashell or something natural. It is a man-made device with perfect concentric circles. And let's not dismiss it with simple explanations. Don't say it's just a ball for playing or something like that. Look at this sphere below. How can a ball or anything be hanging like this? And why would she be holding a small pen-like controller in the other hand? So what do you think about these carvings? Can you explain at least some of them? Did ancient Indians use gum booths? Did werewolves exist in ancient times? Did ancient builders use advanced devices. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.